Uh, let's just run through a couple of these. Yeah. I, this whole uh, training thing was fun. So fun. Uh, we kind of talked about earlier before we started shooting this uh, this tee on the right. Um, it was, I mean, and, and you guys, and you specifically, even you guys, the briefs we would get from you guys were kind of like, I mean, I've we've talked about this with other clients because in a way it was kind of like a, a dream brief where you guys like have this imp- inspiration and kind of like this plus sign and then a blank tee like, see yeah. this? And then, you know, we want it over, over here, you know, yeah. um, and, and it was very detailed. Yeah, like, this one specifically, I think there was yeah. a hand that uh, the chalk was coming off their hands because they were lifting weights. So it's yeah. like, okay, how can we implement this chalk texture vibe? And it, it, on the right T here, you can see we figured it out. But it was definitely a fun challenge, Rubik's Cube of like, man, how do we get this, you know, chalk feeling? Uh, do we scan some images of some chalk? Like, you know, how do we get there? But some of those fun, like fun ones are like really scary in the beginning. You're like, damn, I don't know how we're going to do this. Yeah. But it's that challenge that makes it that much better in the end. I try to be very, um, you know, strategic with the brief where here it's, it's, it's based on this concept and this idea. Yeah. Here's some inspiration. But then you get, you have to let the team have their creative freedom to bring their expertise to the table, too. And that's Absolutely. what you guys always um, deliver on. And so that briefing process was important. But that that um that tea in particular that we're talking about it, yeah it was just based on the insight of like all right dudes in the gym like do with the chalk like let's play into that that texture a bit mm-hmm. it's connected back to a just do it so it's grounded in nike dna and yeah you guys nailed the the texture on that and um you, we were talking about how it executed on on the t and um it printed great it was so just you know those subtle nods i think yeah. um were were important yeah that's cool Let's move on here. Yep, there it is, kind of big. Yeah. Fun. To yep. this day, it's, I think it's still my favorite type piece. And I, I, when I first started getting know know you and Dustin, yeah. was when it was around that time. It was. Yeah. That's when you, yeah, yeah. You were interning. You were going yeah. to college. Yep. I was like, yeah. Damn, that's sick. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you were probably in the studio when Dustin was working on that. That's right. Thanks, Thanks dog. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I thought it was sick too. Every T had an idea, concept, or a story behind it. Yeah. It was never like, "Hey, just make a dope, you know, right, right. make us five cool T's." Like we get that shit, yeah. you know. And it's like, fuck, <laughs> like you know, there was a reason for, like you said, for all of these. Yeah. You know? So yeah, even just to do the JDI and not Futura was something that was yeah. fun and different. I think I've used B Boss on there, and uh, just to, it's still the same, but just a little different, you yeah. know. Just add some flavor to it. So well, that's it's interesting you bring that up because Nike's Nike. But there's several categories within the brand, and so there was always, well, especially for for training, it was, um, well, how do you create your own sort of identity within the brand, right? Yeah. And so, we explored, um, you know, different typefaces that still felt part of the Nike family, but were specific to to training. And the other challenge with training was, you know, with basketball and with soccer and and you know football and stuff. It's a sport that you know you can connect to. There's athletes and training is almost sport agnostic you know and so it was a little bit challenging to put an identity on that and so after a while we just flipped it on its head and and um we basically said well training is the path to all sports you know and it's um there was actually a campaign we did around it was based off just do it but it was just don't quit and then you'd cross out you know certain elements of it and it was like no just do it so it was about that speaking into the breaking point in the off season, yeah, you know, yep, and that yeah. was the difference between the elite athletes and yeah, that's yeah, cool. average athletes. So we were able to develop a story and, and a, a bit of an identity for, for that category within yeah. the, uh, the company, but that's cool. It was always a challenge. Yeah. Sorry, man. I'm just like, no, I love it. Away. Yeah. No, no, it's no, good it's stuff. Yeah, I mean, just onto sure. that point, yeah. uh, they, sometimes internally they use a font called souvenir. Um, mm-hmm. if anyone's listening out there, best font ever, Bring more souvenir into all your stuff. I love that <laughs> shit. Yeah. Great letter form. Yep. Oh, yeah. This stuff was dope. Cool. So, yeah. So, on this next page, the Nike Air Air Max. This was fun. This has got to be my f- personal favorite project of my whole career, life, everything. When this came through the door 10 years ago, I was just so excited. This was amazing. This is all Davey stuff here. And okay. there's a da- bunch of other comps. Davey, Mighty there. Short Marty is, Short. you know, the best also. So to see what the stuff he was doing and, I, you know, I was trying to compete with him, you know, creatively. It's it's a fun and scary at the same time. Yeah. And uh, just to see the stuff brings back f- super fun memories. You know, with that Air Max 90 lockup, you're taking cues from the iconic elements from that shoe. 
you know, yeah. even the, um, the visible air pocket. And then that, that sort of striping that happens on the, um, the, the badge on the back of the shoe, like those subtle nods are really cool. And then t locking it up in like this classic sport sort of lock up, like simple and clean, you know, um, but those sneaker fans are going to notice all, know every single oh, yeah. one of those details and be like, oh, that was the museum that yeah. Tinker and, you know, referenced in France or wherever it was in. Totally. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Great right? collection. Yeah. yeah. What's, yeah. what's dope is like, I'm always a big fan of like neutral colors with one pop, nope. but even as a one color graphic, these were legit. Yeah. They were good just on black or just on white. Yeah. Yeah, it was a, a fun to just explore the idea of air. We were doing hot air balloons, and we were That's doing right. bicycle yeah, pumps, yeah. and we were looking at the molecule, the air molecule, and yeah. just some different stuff out there. Uh, super fun. Yeah, I remember the um, just some of the sketches you guys – like that was basically where we landed with the final, but you guys did a ton of sketches that were really dope. And, yeah, we'll um, show the, those the, on the, here. The train of thought was fresh, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so moving on to this next one, Damaso – did this if you let Damaso go wild with just like hey we need some type like you get some crazy shit back um but yeah he crushed it on this whole type piece yeah this shit's gnarly yeah we were yeah. talking about color separators earlier i oh. kind of feel you know feel for him <laughs> a little bit you know especially to get to work on black that that flash layer is gonna just be basically freaking solid but dude yeah. that shit looks so good yeah that's cool it's got a lot of energy um yeah, yeah you see a, a different style sort of emerging from from this piece here and this really was like inspired by um actually european Foot Locker was they were selling through t-shirts like you wouldn't believe we're and so that, huh? and the more colorful the more energetic the better this was sort of like the beginning of this phase we went through of like all right man let's just go balls to the wall with with illustration and color and um yeah this was again a mashup of some of the legacy franchise footwear you know yeah. pieces from nike and then throwing it through like that graffiti sort of filter but yeah you guys definitely killed it i love the mashup of different types of uh type treatments and the energy on color was was insane i mean here's the like the total opposite something that's actually wearable the texture to it is so good the yellow lines just really drive the concept all the way home yeah conquer the court yeah a little more of a simple vibe here this is when I started to transition from like just these one-off tees to, well, let's build a story, let's build a collection. And the, the story behind um, these two graphics, which were part of a, a larger pack of graphics, but this was West Coast inspired, um, you know, like Venice Beach basketball. That's where the, the palm leaves and yeah, stuff came just, out. Yeah, just being paradise. inspired by the, the, the mm -hmm. concrete court, um, the palm trees. I think the one thing about, you know, working with Nike and you guys can attest to this, I'm sure, but it always comes back to storytelling, mm -hmm. you know? And yeah. so, um, and that's where I think it becomes really fun for us as designers. And, you know, you spoke to it before about, um, just having a, a concept or having it start from an idea, but then we just started building that out even more and like, all right, let's build a collection. And yeah. this is the theme of the collection. Let's build the story around it. And so, I really enjoy that aspect of uh, design. These uh, these sketches of the skulls were fun, and this was Foot Locker, right? Yeah, for yeah. sure. So again, like the the um, you know really detailed illustration style, and just having some fun. And I I was super inspired by all the skate graphics you guys were doing. The concept here was again, you know, everything at Foot Locker was was based on sneaker culture. So, um, but I'm like, how do we make a badass sort of skull? Um, but tie in, you know, the notion of, of footwear and, yeah. and sneakerhead. Um, uh, so this was kind of like one of the many iterations we did around sneakerhead, you know, obviously the skulls and the variations you did on that were, were sick, but you know, he's like focusing in on, in on the shoes and his collection, et cetera. So yeah. <clears throat> again, there's a little bit of a story behind it, but, um, at the end of the day, like this was just a, a great execution of, of illustration style for sure yeah the shading alone just really does it for me brandon's shading is top notch yeah. 